Yo, how are y'all doing today? Hope y'all are doing good. This is your boy Day here, and I have a special guest with me. My little loud doggy is with me. But I hope y'all are doing good. As y'all can see from the title, we are talking about twin flames. And look, no pun intended. I got I got the candles out right now. You probably can't see it. I like the sun in my hand, but look, two candles right now. So. Yeah, you gotta make sure it's, it fits with the video. But with that being said, though, yeah, we just want to watch some about twin flames. It's, it's, it's the, I didn't know anything really about like soulmate and twin flame differences or something like that. So I think it should be interesting to see. So let's get it cracking. You good, man? Let's get it cracking, man. Let's go. This is Kayla. She's a video editor on Fiverr, a platform for freelance services. Kayla will make this video. I'm going to show you the truth on twin flames and soulmates that you probably don't want to hear. This goes a little deeper than I've ever gone before on this idea. And some of this is empowering and some of this really clarifies it. So you see it from a completely new point of view. Welcome back to another video. My name is Aaron and I help people expand their consciousness. Now in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the difference between a soulmate and a twin flame. And I'm going to show you the different dynamics that are involved there because it's not always what you think. You might think, oh, in the media or in the way that we learn about it, this is always the way this has to go. However, there are different circumstances or different dynamics of this that may open up your mind to this idea a little bit more to see it in a new way. You a twin flame at Huey. You need a twin flame? Yeah, you need a twin flame, bro. Mm -hmm. I'm talking to you, man. <laughs> y'all got y'all twin flame, bro? Are y'all soulmate? I ain't looking for one. I ain't gonna lie. I'm chilling. I think the difference, before he even say something, let me see if, if I'm correct, right? Let me see how, let me see if I'm tapped in. I think the difference is like, a twin flame is like your, it's supposed to be like a reflection of you, almost. Like, obviously, like two sides of the same coin. And then your soulmate is just somebody that you really connect with. I don't know. I don't know. All I know is that twin flames is probably a much deeper connection than soulmates. But let's keep let's get it cracking. Way. And it also will explain to you a little bit of the different dynamics of our soul and how we're all connected to each other. Because um, when, and, and also what I'll be sharing with you is how you can go about finding or connecting with what you could call soulmates or twin flames. Now, first off, before I even get into it, understand that every single one of us are connected. We all have a connection to each other. That's why I did this little chart right here to show you kind of how it works. The idea is that there is source energy. Then we offshoot and... So whoever's watching this, you and I, we're connected. How you feel about that? We're connected. Me and this dog, connected. We are basically like water drops and collectively we make the ocean. Oh my God, come on now into what you could call fundamentally an oversoul. This oversoul right here then is connected to different higher selves. And then the different higher selves are then connected to different incarnations. Do you see what I'm doing here or what I'm showing here? Now, if you want more information on this, check out the information of Dolores Cannon, Bashar, the law of one talks about different ex levels of existence. Now, when we say we're multidimensional, it's because you might exist here at your physical body level, but then you're also connected to a higher self, and then your higher self is connected to an oversoul. And from the over, think of it like here's an analogy that makes this easier to understand. Think of a film projector. You have the film projector, and on the different film strips are different you. They're different, maybe you're in one scene, and then later on in the movie, you're at a completely different age, you're in a different scene. All those frames exist at the same time. Those frames are different aspects of you right here. But the higher self can look at all of those, the film strip at the same time. They're the film projectionist. So they're able to kind of look through them and see them all from that higher point of view. So that analogy a lot of times makes it a little bit easier to see the different dimensions 
to it. Like there's a dimension of you watching a movie, feeling like you're in the movie, and then looking up the, at the film projectionist and seeing the film projector go down on the movie so you see that it's just a movie. In the same way, our physical reality here is a form of illusion. We are infinite spiritual beings having temporary human experiences, but when we make the jump from the higher self into the, the uh, physical self, we have this veil of forgetfulness. It doesn't happen everywhere, but it happens on earth. It happens here. It's part of the game that we've decided to play. We've forgotten who we are so that we... So, basically, you and I are watching this and everybody else in this world. We don't know who we are. And we forgot why we came down here. And we chose to forget so that we can learn more about ourselves and grow spiritually. That's what he's saying. We can remember who we are. Now, what a lot of people do when it comes to Twin Flames and the idea of soulmates is they go around. This is the, dr this is the reason I really also want to make this video is People go around looking for it so much, but the thing, thing is, is the more you look for it, a lot of times the more you resist it. Mm. That's a fact. Just do your own thing and it's gonna happen. I swear to God, the universe be doing that. It be playing jokes on people. The key is to let it go and to know that at the deepest level, you're all connected anyways. We're all connected. We all come from the same source energy. We're just playing a temporary illusion that I am this piece, you are this piece, you are this piece, but in actuality, we're all connected. Now, I'm going to use this chart. I'm going to show you what the difference between a soulmate and a twin flame really is. Now, in our life... Grab y'all pens and paper, bro, if y'all really looking for one, even though, as he said, you shouldn't be. But if you are, then grab your pen and paper. We have set up certain appointments. We have set up certain dynamics, and that is for the purpose of learning. We come here, we forget who we are so that we can go through a learning process. We can, in a way, sometimes balance out some energy. Maybe there's some energy from past incarnations and from different states where we had a certain energy dynamic and we're balancing out. That could be one thing. But in general, there's a lot of people in our life that we incarnate with over and over and over again. But a lot of times the dynamics will change. For example, in my own family, my brother, Alex, and my mom, they feel like it's been switched before where my brother, Alex, was my mom's dad. And what the, hold on, let me go back. Maybe I missed something, hold on. My brother, Alex, and my mom, they feel like it's been switched before where my brother Alex was my mom's dad. And it, you could tell because he really has this desire to really always like really take care of her in a very nurturing way where he sometimes acts like her father. So it's interesting to see these different dynamics, but there's different dynamics where there may have been times in your past where you and one of your siblings were enemies. There could have been times in your past. So we're just going to skip over what he just said. I'm not skipping over what he just said. Um... So, he's talking about having a past life and feeling like you were your mom's husband. I ain't gonna, I can't even rationalize that. Or what you and your sibling were daughter and 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 mother or uh, father daughter. It could have been all these different dynamics. And there are people that you've incarnated with before, but there's different dynamics of the relationship you want to learn. So you say, how about this time, you're the mom, I'm the dad. Or you're the mom and I'm the daughter. Or there's many different dynamics to this. So in a way, you have a soul family. You could say it's a soul family. There are people that you incarnate with again and again. And sometimes that's not always the case. Sometimes Bashar, so I, I watch a lot of Bashar and I've, I've heard him talk about this. He's been doing and giving information on this for like 30 years. And the information is very interesting. People go up to him, ask him a question, and say, Bashar, is this, how do I find my twin flame? How do I find my soulmate? And the answer he always gives is that we're all connected and that everyone in your life in the moment is a twin flame or a soulmate. Now, that's not the answer. What does that even mean? So you're saying that because we're all 
interconnected that that connection is what allows us all to be twin flames to each other and soulmates. You're going to have to elaborate on that. The answer that people want to hear when they're asking the question. They want to know, is this person definitely my soulmate? However, understand first off, soulmates many times can be romantic and many times soulmates can also be as friends or soulmates can be as family. You may have your mom may be one of your soulmates. Does it mean it's romantic? Uh, my buddy Victor Odo, him and I, we believe we are soulmates. Not romantic, but we believe that we incarnated here and we chose that we were gonna be like as close as we are as friends. We were gonna do a lot of business together. We were gonna do a lot of things together. We believe and we feel that. Now, soulmates are something that doesn't have to be romantic, but it definitely can be. Okay, so basically what, uh, and his name is Aaron, if y'all don't know, what he's saying is that everybody can have soulmates. Or you could be a soulmate with anyone. It does not. It could be platonic, um, and it's just you and that person connect on a much deeper level, a much spiritual level. Hence why it's called soulmates. Um, that's the, that's the first time I'm ever hearing about soulmates being platonic. Um, but I, I definitely understand what he's saying with that, though. Um, yeah. Now, when it comes to Twin Flame, the way that Bashar has talked about this before, because when he doesn't give his generic answer where you guys are all, everyone's your Twin Flame in the moment, everyone's your, your uh, soulmate in the moment, when he doesn't give that, when he does go a little bit more detailed, what he says is, this is the difference between a soulmate and a Twin Flame. A soulmate is somebody that normally you have a contract with, and that contract is you may live your whole entire lives and be happy. You may have incarnated many other times in the past and been happy and had great, great, deep relationships. Sometimes people assume and they put Twin Flame on this higher pedestal than um, Soulmate. And they both serve a very powerful purpose. They're reflections. Any relationship is a reflection because we're all connected at a certain level. You see? Now, the difference between a Soulmate and a Twin Flame. A Twin Flame is a counterpart. A Twin Flame comes from the same oversoul or that you could even say the same higher self. So think of it like this. Maybe this is one person, person number one, and then this person has a contract with maybe this person over here and they just, they fall in love. And that's like a soulmate type connection, very deep. Maybe that's in their life that maybe they're meant to be in each other's lives the whole entire lives and many, many different lifetimes. Doesn't make it any less special at all. However, that's what they're meant to experience them with each other. Now, at the same time, there could be somebody that maybe things don't go that well with number two after a certain, like three, five years. Well, that person, it may have not worked out with, and then you meet someone else, that person still may have been your soulmate. Doesn't mean you are meant to be with your soulmate for eternity. You're an infinite spiritual being living a temporary human experience. So don't discount it because of that, but also there may have been also other people that are family. You may, your dad, your mom, your brother and sister, they may also be soulmates as well. And then your best friend, you don't, it, those, these are different dynamics that happen for a level of reflection. And sometimes what will happen is you'll have enemies, people in past life who have been enemies come together to be best friends, to be um, lovers, you never really know, but it balances out. It could be something that reflects reflections, balance out the energy. It could be very deep, very meaningful. Now, a twin flame, on the other hand, is somebody that comes from the same, has a connection to the same higher self. It's called a counterpart, which means you're very deeply connected. And normally what will happen, this is what they, they say normally will happen to A. With they, you got to be very specific here because a lot of people say this is pseudoscientific so you gotta be a lot more what's the word i'm looking for 
clear on who you're talking about when you say they, because that's you could say you could be saying anybody. <laughs> How about that? Normally, what will happen is one will carry the masculine and one will carry the feminine energy. Could mean that it's two males, but one's masculine, one's female. Could mean it's two. It depends. You know, there's different dynamics, different things people may have signed up for. Does it mean that only heterosexuals can be that of the twin flame dynamic? However, what it means is that there's a counterpart of somebody that has a very similar vibration. And as a very similar vibration, it's also connected to the higher self. I've seen one, um, I was listening to one a while ago, and I really was digging into this because I was really curious about it. And uh, Bashar was talking about how you met what is called a counterpart, somebody that was asking a question. You met and you're connecting to what is called a counterpart. Somebody that is connected, it's almost like a simultaneous incarnation. Very deep, but not to be meant to be put on a much higher pedestal than that of a soulmate. Because soulmates can also be very deep, many different reincarnational lives. However, this is about understanding those different two dynamics. Now, I'm going to tell with you in this video as well how you can meet your twin flame, how you can find your soulmates, the most powerful way. And if you didn't know yet, I have a whole twin flame episode that Lior and Alexandra and I did. That's our most, is the most popular episode on my podcast. I'm going to go ahead and link it in the top description box below. It's 50 minutes long with us talking about some experiences and some, and some things that we've never shared on YouTube. And you can click on it in the top description box below and subscribe to the podcast as well because every Tuesday and Friday, there are different types of um, different, different podcast episodes. Now, the other thing you could do is you could smash like on that. I tried to do it. I tried to do this. This whole cool thing I saw this other guy do. Can you smash that like button? Maybe? Just maybe? That would be really cool. I'm just going to start doing that in the beginning of the videos now because um, it just sounds like fun. It sounds something different too because I always do the same generic thing at the end of the videos. We're not at the end of the video yet. But you smash that like button in the meantime, that would be pretty cool. you know. Now, here is the thing as well. When it comes to this process, the most powerful way to know, to, to have a twin flame or a soulmate and to meet one, to find one, is to get to your passion, get to your core frequency of what you love doing. Reason being is when you are doing what you love, you are in your most powerful alignment you are most likely then meet the other person that can reflect that back to you. But if you're not the core of who you are, you're not going to meet them who they are looking for your core energy in a way. So there's certain appointments that you've made and there's a certain energy that they may subconsciously know that when they meet, this is the person, this is the one, this is the whatever. Now, they're never going to find you if you are not vibrating in the same frequency of who you really are. Mm. You just cook low key. So basically what he's saying is that the reason why most people are lonely and haven't felt the one is because they themselves haven't been the one for the other person. Tough. Super tough. So all you got to do is, he's saying just be authentic to what you want in this world. Or no, like I always say, this, he's saying what I always say, which is to focus on who you want to be, and then everything will attract to you. Everything becomes a byproduct of that, so that's tough. If you got a dead end job that you don't like, basically what he's saying is, you're not living in your purpose, and you're not going to find that soulmate or that twin flame. Tough. Or that twin flame or soulmate is not going to find you, because you shouldn't be looking for it. You doing what you're passionate about. You going forward in a powerful way. So the key to this is understanding that the most powerful way to find your twin flame or your soulmate is to do what you're passionate about and to be yourself in every moment. Now, I know that's a very cliche thing, but nonetheless, that is the key. And the second step to this is completely letting go of it. There's the more you go around going, are you my twin flame? 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 You're just showing that you don't have it. Yeah. You desiring it so much that you basically telling the universe that, hey, I don't have it. And you're basically, you're resisting your ability to get it by doing that.
I'm locked in. I'm, I'm tapped in. I know what you're talking about. Are you my twin flame? Are you my twin flame? Are you my twin flame? The more that you are putting out this resistance that then is causing it to where you're externalizing your own happy, happiness. Many times a twin flame, pe the people that are really into that believe that they're only half a person, half a soul, and they're looking for their yeah, other that's half. That's OC. You, yeah, that's crazy. No, nah, that's crazy. Uh -oh. Oh, their soul and because of that meaning they're desperately realize you're all right bet. let's go let me see because of that meaning they're desperately trying to find it but when you realize you're already whole and complete when you realize that you can be in what you love doing that'll be your best bet to finding that other person or that that level of connection because you are so at the core of who you are but the key to this is not looking for it in that way. Are you my soulmate? Are you my soulmate? Are you my soulmate? Are you my twin flame? Are you my, like that book, there was a book I grew up uh, reading. It was like, uh, not grew up, I mean, I, it was like a Dr. Seuss book. It's called, Are You My Mother? This little chicken or something goes around and goes, are you, my mom? are you my mother? Are you my mother? Are you my mother? Asking like a human and like a basketball or something. I don't know, it's been like a long time since I read that book, but that's the idea. But I feel like I see that happen a lot. And I understand, I understand that people want a deep connection. People want to, to, to find that in other people. But understand that we can stop and drop these labels because at the deepest level, we're all connected. What if we could have a soulmate connection with every single person that comes into our life if we were to get to our core and to realize this understanding that we're all connected? You see, it's a very power, powerful understanding. But in general, the difference between a soulmate and a twin flame is that a soulmate is somebody that you have a contract with, somebody that you may have known in many different lives, somebody that you may meant to have a whole entire life connection with this. How can you say that you have a contract with them if you say that you could be a soulmate with and everybody? So you're saying that each of us, you're saying that, let's say the person's watching this, right? Are you saying that they have a contract with all 8 billion people on this world, in this world? Because you can't be, you can't be, quote unquote, soulmates with everybody. This person doesn't mean anything less than I don't a think you can. twin flame. Whereas that of a, tw a counterpart twin flame is somebody that comes from the same higher self, which means it's very deep. And a lot of times there's a lot of work that needs to be done there because there's a lot of reflection that happens. What does that even mean? The same higher self? Like, are you saying that you got different higher selves and then at that point how high can you go happens a lot of times well from what i understand twin flames come together for times of deep transformation and deep work work even at a greater level that's what we've been told um and in that episode of leroy alexander and i we go deeper on this but we were told that the idea or what a twin flame, twin flames come together to activate each other and twin flames come together so that they can do some type of deeper work. So this is understanding that. This is, this is the power of understanding that. And many times there'll be things that, got, that get brought up. I talk about that once again in the podcast episode because a lot of things got brought up within me having this kind of realization, things I couldn't even understand. And I realized now they're past life things. They were things like that. And uh, it's part of the process though. But these are all convenient terms that we use to label and understand different connections we may have. But the key is to know that the map is, the, the map is not where the power is. The power is within you. And you can start to realize that you're connected to everyone. You are connected to everyone. And then you're gonna start feeling more connection. But at the same time, if you're trying to find your soulmate, the best thing you can do is to not look and to just be in the frame of your own movie. Do what you love to do. Maybe set an intention for it, but then let it go. Say for a twin flame, you want to meet a twin flame connection? Do it in meditation. Do it and tap into the own twin flame energy within yourself. If you feel whole and complete. And then do what you're passionate about because that is the best, quickest route to you finding these other aspects of you and these connections of you. So, with my fault, keep acting, pausing. These other aspects of you and these connections of you. So, with that being said, you will see the podcast episode down below. 
Let me know what you thought of this episode. What do you think about Twin Flames and Soulmates? Does this resonate? Did you smash the like button? I said it right that time. Did you smash the like button? If not, that would be really cool. Oh, that was that video. Uh, some clarification I would want done on some topics. But overall, I understand the premise. You should too by now. It's pretty simple. Just don't go looking for it. Just be it. Just be what you want and it's going to come to you. Um... That's pretty much it. Hope y'all enjoyed yourselves. Um, Road to 1K. With that being said, I'm out, man.